channel. Ooh, the brightness went away. So first of all, I know you guys are waiting for the question of the video. So here's the question. That goes off every second. So here's the question of the video today. It is going to be, and I have my handy dandy book here. It's going to be, let me find it, third one. A package that weighs one pound and five ounces weighs how many ounces? Ready and go! So today I'm going to be talking about the best parts of being a teacher and it might, some of them might actually be surprising. So the first best part of being a teacher is when you're teaching a concept and nobody understands and it's like you're getting frustrated, you don't really know where to go with it, um, you're trying over and over, trying different techniques on what, this is kind of not straight, sorry guys. Um, anyways, different techniques about like how to get this concept across and they're just not getting the element. And then all of a sudden, just one, just that one kid in class goes, oh, I get it. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Number two. Is and I have a, like a list here. I always have a list. Somebody told me how to make good YouTube videos is have a script. I don't know if that's true, but um, I at least have a list. So thanks. Shout out to you. Um, so the second one, sorry, is um, that I'm playing a part in shaping, hopefully shaping a better future for these students of mine and it kind of just feels good when they come up to you and they're like I learned that because of you or you inspired me to be to have a good character um all of those really actually feel good and to actually watch them grow up and shape their better future and become a better person is the second best part of being a teacher the third three 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 is the funny comments and compliments I get throughout the day. Sometimes my students think they're complimenting me and they will be like, oh, you actually look nice today. But I'll take it. Number four is when a misbehaving student in your class behaves for the entire day best feeling ever best part of being a teacher because some part of you thinks they're behaving because of you it might not be true but it is a good feeling when that student behaves and make sure you give them a lot of positive praises and let them know hey i saw you behaving number five is the random gifts you get as a teacher okay now listen i'm not talking about like the store-bought gifts that they bring you i'm talking about the pictures that they draw you or the letters that they give you the stuff that they make at home i just had a student may actually matter of fact i will show have had students made she just made me this best feeling ever I had another student make me this i usually say absolutely not so she made me that last year Best feeling ever is when you get those random gifts. Number six, almost there. Number six is when former students that you have in the previous years come back to visit. So this is my second year teaching and my sixth graders that are now seventh graders. Oh, I can never make this straight. What is going on? Yes, yes, yes. My sixth graders that are now seventh graders, they come back to my classroom and Tell me about their life. And it is a really good feeling to know, hey, maybe they didn't like me last year. Now last year, I don't know if they did. But now they do. Seven. Mm, we're at number seven. Seven. I don't know where I was going with that. But number seven. When a wonderful idea comes to mind, when you have been trying everything and nothing is getting to these children and then all of a sudden this wonderful idea most of my wonderful ideas are usually um, brain breaks or different different kind of strategies i get to use in the class i know maybe two weeks ago in my math class i was teaching a concept and it was how to isolate the variable but when it's negative and 
my students always, they had so much trouble with it. And then over Christmas break, I kept thinking, what can I do to help them with this? Well, two days um, after Christmas break, when classes started and I finally started teaching lessons, math lessons again, you, I wish somebody could have just videotaped me then because, hi, Miss Frisch, Miss Frisch is here. Everybody say hi, Miss Frisch. Hi. Uh, she's gonna have a good day um, but I wish someone could have videotaped me then because I was so excited to teach them how to do this new way of isolating the variable and I was like literally jumping up and down they thought I was crazy but it was the best feeling ever number eight I believe I'm on number eight I hope I'm on number eight when students talk to me about their life it is one of the best feelings ever as being a teacher because you know that if they come to you to talk to you about their life, and I'm not just saying like what they did over the weekend or um, that kind of life, but like real life problems, then you know that these students trust you, that they trust your environment that you created, and it is one of the best feelings. This always goes bright and then changes. Hello, wake up. Oh, I have to touch it or something. Nope, it didn't work. Okay, anyways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're a teacher, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of teach. I don't know why this is going bright and I mean, the lights are not changing. I don't care. If you're a teacher, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of teaching is or favorite thing of being a teacher is. And let me know because those are my eight favorite things of being a teacher. And so I would love to know your favorite things of being a teacher. And if you comment down below on, for the question of the video, let me know. I know I had a winner again, that thing goes off every five minutes. I know I had a winner last week. If you were the winner last week, I'm trying to figure it out, um, but I will be in contact with you this week to get your prize. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you are a loyal subscriber, um, thank you, I appreciate it. If you're just now tuning into the videos, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time, bye.